Valet outrage. A Dearborn man returns home from an amazing vacation only to end up disappointed when he's dropped off at his car. He says the valet parking service didn't just park his ride. They were horsing around in it too. Sevens taking action reporter Andrea Isom is working to help put the brakes on what some are calling bad behavior. So you hand over your keys to a valet company. Hey, I've done it dozens of times and everything's turned out a OK. -okay. But a Dearborn man claims his experience was insane and caught on camera. I was going to be in Denver visiting my sister for about 11 days. But Dearborn's own Chris Holland did not want to blow a bunch of dough parking at the airport. Like 12 bucks a day would be a lot of money. To save some cash, the 29-year-old reserved a spot at fast lane parking. However, when he pulled up... And they say, we're all full. Clearly, that was not what Chris wanted to hear. So, a staff member offered up a remedy by recommending a company called Valley Connections in Taylor. It's 4 a.m. I don't want to be late for my flight messing around with some other parking lot. So I'm like, okay, how bad can it be? Even though I'm a car enthusiast, I hate other people drive my car. Well, more than a week later, when the shuttle took him to his vehicle. Worst fears come true. You see, Chris has a dash cam mounted in plain sight on his Ford Focus. For once, it finally paid off. I caught something. And upon review of the video, I see them. They whip it around. He tries doing a donut in it. But it doesn't work because it's a focus. Then he whips it around again and does a handbrake turn. That was him going that to a again? handbrake turn. And then everyone near him is egging him on. Yeah, drift, drift, drift it. This car does not do that at all. <laughs> You're just going to break it. And some other guy, my heart stopped. He's like, let me break this stick shit. I'm like, God, please no. It is no secret. Chris was fuming. It kind of baffles me just how brazen or how ignorant or how dumb is this person? I wish people weren't so scummy and abuse your property. I end up trying to call them, email them, and they just ignore everything. Though Valet Connections claims it was not aware of this situation until Action News brought it to management's attention. However, they do plan to refund Chris's payment in full. The owner of Valley Connections declined to do an interview on camera. Instead, he sent me a statement via his PR rep, which reads in part, Valley Connections has the highest service standards, and if our internal review finds that our driver behaved inappropriately, we will take necessary disciplinary action. Remember earlier when Chris said he's a car enthusiast? He's also... I'm a product development engineer over at Ford. So this cat knows how this puppy should be handled. That being said, he is requesting more from Valley Connections other than just a little respect. The guy that was actually driving my car, I would, would not mind at all if you were fired. And hopefully he learns a lesson out of it. Just do your job. And keep your hands off other people's property if you're planning on horsing around. In Taylor, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.